Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Konnichiwa everyone and welcome to the class. Well, are you ready today for the class? Are you ready to learn Japanese? Well, we have done a lot of things in our previous classes. We have learnt a lot of particles, lot of vocabulary, lot of verbs. In our last class, we did uh, verbs in mass form and masen form. So, well today, we will do mashta form which is the past tense of the verb. You can see over here, when did you come to Kanpur? When? When of course you know is Itsu. Did you come to Kanpur? Itsu Kanpur. A ki ma ta ka you have done verbs in mas form which is present and masen which is negative and present as well so well iki mas and iki ma sen so remove the mas and put masen for negative now Iki ma shita. Remove the masen and put mashita for past tense. So, in a similar manner, kimas. Kimas. Ki ma sen. And ki ma shita. This is past for to come. You can practice all the other verbs as well in a similar manner. So, over here this is what we are going to do today. We are going to practice verbs in past tense. Well, listen to this dialogue now and see how much you can understand from the dialogue and after that we will do it right here in class. Tanaka san, itsu kanpur e kimashita ka? Kyonen kimashita? Deri kara電車で来ましたか。いいえ、飛行機で来ました。飛行機で出りからカンプルまで1時間ですね。はい、1時間かかります。インドの生活はどうですか私は大丈夫です。失礼ですが、日本人はお箸で食べますね。あれは、あ、
which means go, go somewhere. Then you have also done this verb kairimas, which means to return. Now, there is a new verb over here kimas. These two verbs are in group 1. This is in group 3 of the verb division. Well, this is a new verb over here, kimas. This is when you go somewhere, ikimas. This is when you return, as I told you earlier, either to your home or to your country or to wherever you are staying at that time. Now, this verb also means come and you will use this verb when you are present at that point as over here Tanaka san is present in Kanpur, he is here. Rao san is also here in Kanpur. So, then what does he say? Tanaka san itsu Kanpur e kimashita ka, when did you come to Kanpur and not when did you go to Kanpur. Please remember this is very, very important when you are present at a certain point, when you are talking about that place, then always verb kimas is used. Tanaka san says, kyo nen kimashita, I came last year. Deri kara densha de kimashita ka, you have done this particle de earlier in one of the previous lessons for mode of transport, particle de, densha de kimashita. Rao san says, deri kara densha de kimashita ka, did you come by train? Iye hikoki de kimashita, I came by plane. Hikoki de, deri kara kanpur made ichi jikan desu ka? Now, this is a new word for you used with time meaning span, meaning time period, time spent over a certain activity, ichiji kan over here. We will do this, practice this a little later. Hai, ichiji kan kakarimas. Kakarimas is it takes that much time. Hai, ichiji kan kakarimas. It takes one hour. Indo no seikatsu wa dou desu ka? How do you find living in India? Watashi wa daijoubu desu. Oh, it's all right with me. Shitsure desu ga, nihonjin wa ohashi de tabemasu ne. Shitsure desu ga, I am sorry for asking so directly, but nihonjin wa ohashi de tabemasu ne. Ohashi is chopsticks. De tabemas ne. So, this particle de over here is what we are going to do. This is similar to this one densha de, but usage is a little different over here. Densha de, when it is used, it is for mode of transport. Hashi de, when it is used, when you perform an activity with the help of something. So, hashi de tabemas, I eat with the help of chopsticks. Areva and he leaves the question incomplete. Ah, are mo daijobu desu. Oh, I am all right with that also. So, now we will practice all of it that we have done here. This is of course, written in the script and the translation or explanation is in English. Now, as I just told you, we have done verbs in negative and present form. Today, we will do verbs in past form. Now, look at this sentence, watashi wa Delhi e ikimasu. I will go to Delhi or I am about to go to Delhi. For the negative, of course, as I told you, it is watashi wa Delhi e ikimasen. I will not go to Delhi. Now, for the past tense, how will you use it? As I told you over here, ikimasu, 
iki masen and of course once you remove masen for past you can put iki ma shita so watashi wa delhi e iki mashita i went to delhi now you have done uh, time expressions like kino ototoi senshu kyonen so you can use all these ototoi senshu kyonen kino you can use all these and say watashi wa ototoi deri e iki mashita watashi wa senshu deri e iki mashita watashi wa kyonen deri e iki mashita or you could say watashi wa kino deri e iki mashita now instead of watashi wa again you can practice this again over here you can use any of the vocabulary that you have done for example you could say tanaka san or tomodachi or sensei tanaka san wa ototoi deri e ikimashita tomodachi wa kyonen deri e ikimashita sensei wa kino deri e ikimashita and of course delhi can again you can change the name of the place and make new sentences with that so this is how mashita is going to be used you can replace the verb also later on well you could practice the verbs with me over here ikimashita kaerimashita tabemashita nomimashita yomimashita nemashita benkyo shimashita all the verbs that you have done in mas form and masen form you can now practice those in mashita form now you can see something on your screens over here tanaka san wa 8 ji kara 10 ji made nemashita oto san wa 10 ji 10 ji kara 12 ji made hata raki ma shita oto san wa 10 ji kara 12 ji made hatarakimashita so you can use time like this and use the verb in mashita form for example oto san wa 9 ji kara 10 ji made shimbun o yomi mashita shimbun o yomi mashita so oto san wa or sensei wa sensei wa 9 ji kara 10 ji made shimbun o yomi mashita so you can practice like this with time from a certain time till a certain time some activity was performed tanaka san wa 9 ji kara 11 ji han made nemashita 
田中さんは11時から5時まで寝ました田中さんは1時から6時まで寝ました。And of course, with time, as we have done a number of times, you can also use gozen and gogo and practice with your partner. Also, now what you can do is, as you can see over here, Tanaka san wa hachiji kara juji made nemashita is what we did last time. You can change the verb over here. Tanaka san wa hachiji kara juji made kikimashita. Tanaka san wa hachiji kara juji made mimashita. Tanaka san wa hachiji kara juji made yomimashita. Tanaka san wa hachiji kara juji made shimashita. But these do not seem complete somehow. So, what did they do? From 8 o'clock till 10 o'clock. Kikimashita. But what did they listen? So, well, what you can do now is Tanaka san wa hachiji kara juji made ongaku o kikimashita. That is how you can put it. You have done particle o also last time. So, you can put it over here. Again, you can try Tanaka san wa hachiji kara juji made terebi o mimashita. Terebi is television, terebi o mimashita. Mimashita is to see. Once again, Tanaka san wa hachiji kara juji made shimbun o yomimashita. Shimbun is newspaper. Yomimas is to read. Once again, Tanaka san wa hachiji kara juji made shukudai o shimashita. Shukudai is homework. Shimashita, shimas is to do. So, shimashita is did. Tanaka san wa hachiji kara juji made shukudai o Shimashita. So, you can practice like this later on and also of course, you can again add gozen and gogo -go before time and practice with your partner. Revise your verbs like this, learn your verbs like this, learn the new vocabulary, learn to use particle o, learn to use particles kara and made and verb in past form. Again, we are going to practice verbs in past form. So, over here there are a few pictures for you. Look at the pictures and ask what they did yesterday. Hachiji han kara goji made nani o shimashita ka? Hachiji han kara Goji made shigoto o shimashita. So, you can ask this question from this time till this time, what did he do? Well, from this time till this time, whatever is in the picture, whatever you can see in the picture, try to say that. We will practice the second one as well. Well, from 9 till 11.30. Tanaka san wa kuji kara juichi ji han made nani o shimashita ka? Tanaka san wa kuji kara juichi ji han made benki o shimashita. So, well, he is reading. So, you can say benki o shimashita. Benki o shimashita. There is one more for you. Hachiji han kara kuji made nani o shimashita ka? So, you can give this person over here a name. It could be Tanaka san or Maikawa san or any other name that you want to put. So, Rao san wa hachiji han kara kuji made nani o shimashita ka? Rao san wa hachiji han kara 
Kuji made. Well, what is it? Tell me quickly. Shimbun o yomimashita. So now you practice this. Tell me what it is. Dozo. Niji kara yoji made. Hai, dozo. Asobi mashita. Niji kara yoji made. Asobi mashita. So I hope you've got it in past tense now. You've understood how to make past tense for verbs, how to use them, well practice them with your partner at home so that you remember them and can use them easily later on in conversation. Now in our conversation we had particle they. One form of particle they we have already done, we have studied which is mode of transport by what method, by what means you travel from one place to another. Generally by train, by plane, by cycle, by ship, whatever mode of transport you use, well particle they is going to be used at that place. Now over here we have another usage of particle they, which is with the help of something you perform another activity as is given over here empitsu de kakimas hashi de tabemas well wata shi wa pen de kaki mas so i write with a pen, with the help of a pen. Now I use a pen to perform an activity. So pen can be replaced with pen shiru, pen shiru or enpitsu. Watashi wa hashi. Ohashi, chopsticks de tabemasu. So, watashi wa pen de kakimasu. Watashi wa enpitsu de with the help of I write. Watashi wa spoon de, spoon de tabemasu. Watashi wa ohashi de tabemasu. With the help of these things I perform a certain activity. So, over here depending on what you are using, the verb is going to change. Tabemas or kakimas or any other verb that you want to use, you can use. So, particle they is going to be used with these verbs over here and what tool you are using to perform a certain activity as is given over here, enpitsu de kakimasu, hashi de tabemasu. Now you can practice, well look at the picture and see what the gentleman is doing. What can you see? What is he doing? He is talking on the phone. So what is he using to talk? He is using a telephone. So denwa de over here. Den wa de hanashimasu. So you can add den wa over here. Den wa is a phone. Den wa de hanashimasu. Den wa de hanashimasu. You can see den wa de hanashimasu. Well, look at this picture now and see what they are doing. They are writing with a pencil. So, enpitsu de kakimasu as is given over there. What is this gentleman doing? Tanaka san wa ohashi de, ohashi de gohan o tabemasu, ohashi de gohan o tabemasu. 
So, well, ohashi chopsticks are being used for tabemas. So, this is how you will use particle day, what tool is being used to perform a certain activity. Now, we have been doing time, kuji kara, kuji kara, juji made, ju ichiji kara, ju ichiji han made, sanji kara, sanji kara, shichiji made, okay, gogo, yoji kara, goji made. You perform a certain activity. Kuji kara juji made benkyo shimasu. Kuji kara juji made benkyo shimasu. Juji kara ju ichiji han made hanashimasu. Which is to talk. Sanji kara shichiji made nemasu. To sleep. Yoji kara goji made asobimasu. Well, during a certain time, during a certain period, you perform a certain activity. So, what is this called? This time span, this period, it is called kan. Kuji kara juji made benkyo shimasu. So, you study for an hour from 9 o'clock till 10 o'clock for an hour for a period of 1 hour. So, that period of 1 hour is called kan, kan, okay. kan over here as is written, kan denotes time duration. For example, niji means 2 o'clock whereas, niji kan means 2 hours spent in doing some work. So, watashi wa niji kan nemashita, sanji kan terubi wo mimashita, nishu kan yasumimashita. So, over here you can see, kuji kara juji made benkyo shimashita. So, ichi ji, ichi ji kan benkyo shimashita. Juichiji kara juichiji han made hanashimashita. This is just sanju pun pun hanashimashita. Sanji kara shichiji made nemashita. So, yoji kan nemashita. Yoji kara goji made asobimashita. Ichiji kan for a period of 1 hour, for 4 hours, for 1 hour. For that span of time, Patashiva performed this activity. So, please learn to use kan. So, you can tell for exactly how long you performed a certain activity. Over here, now we can practice. After number, you have to use kan. After time, kan is used and not ichi kan ji. Please remember, it comes after the time. Over here, you have ichi ji kan. Niji kan, Ichiji kan han, Niji kan jukpun, Sanji kan, Yoji kan, Goji kan, Rokuji kan. Shichiji kan, Hachiji kan, Kuji kan, 
Juji Khan Han. So, this is how it goes and over here you will see that yo or 4 o'clock is yo and not yon or shi. It is yoji and again for shichiji it is shichiji and not nanaji. Please remember that in a similar manner for 9 o'clock it is kuji and not kyuji. So, please practice this and remember it properly. Now, how to use kan? You can practice over here. You have the time shichiji kara hachiji made nani wo shimashita ka? Shichiji kara hachiji made denwa de hanashimashita. Nanji kan hanashimashita ka? Ichiji kan hanashimashita. Again, you have time. Ichiji kara sanji made nani wo shimashita ka? Benkyo shimashita. Ja nanji kan benkyo shimashita ka? Niji kan benkyo shimashita. So, you can ask your partner now. In a similar manner, nani wo shimashita ka? Hai? Nanji kan nemashita ka? So, you can tell sanji kan nemashita. And practice this one with your partner. Hachiji han kara juji made. Nani wo shimashita ka? So, what are you going to say? Terubi wo mimashita. So, what should your next question be? Nanji kan terubi wo mimashita ka? Ichiji kan han terubi wo mimashita. So, please practice it like that. Now, lot of practice, lot of, lot of new words, lot of uh, grammar over here. Now, simple just look at these kanji characters and uh, try to memorize them. You have done this word shu in sen shu, kon shu, shu as in sen shu, kon shu, rai shu. So, well, this is what we are going to do today. Shu. You remember doing this? Ichi. This ju. Do. So, one kanji here, there is another kanji over here. This covers it, and this is a radical which has a meaning. So, this is how you make it over here. It is not in proportion at the moment like this. This is shu. Shu means weak. Now, this radical means road or pass or through going through continuous over here. Now, this character comes from a paddy field where rice is all spread over and it takes a while maybe maybe a week maybe more maybe a little less to collect all the rice and put it back into the bag so thus we have shu which is a period of 7 days for this kanji for shu which is a period of 7 days that's how long it would take to collect rice which is scattered all over in a rice field so this is shu i'll make it once again for you 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11. So, it is an 11 stroke character like this, like this. I hope you got it right. It is an 11 stroke character over here for you, shoe. 
there are other kanjis also, we will do that. You can see it is an 11 stroke character. There is another one, kan, this word kan, which you did just now means period of time. If you remember, we did this character, this means sun. Now, if you just elongate this a little and make another Nietzsche over here and do this, does it look like something to you? Well, it means a gate and this character Nichi, which means sun. So, basically what it means is the sun between two gates, which is means in between, meaning either and also means Khan. So, over here once again 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3 and 4. So, this is Khan for you over here. a 12 stroke character. Now, we have been doing this word denva a lot, denva means phone, telephone. Denva is made out of a lot of lot of uh, kanji characters, 2, 3 kanji characters combined to make one character. So, over here this means ame, which is rain. This is then, this means to speak and this means tongue. So, then va, this whole character means to speak. So, you talk through this. So, this is a denva please. I will do the explaining of these two characters later, not today. I just want you to learn this word which is denva and remember these this kanji for denva that is all. We will do the characters later. Once again I will make it for you. then wa. Please remember it is right here. This is a word you have done. So, I want you to remember the word with this character. Now, some kanji characters these words we have covered in our previous classes and in this class as well. My shoe, kon shoe, Sen shu, Rai shu, Shumatsu. Shumatsu is a new word. Shumatsu means weekend. Nishukan, a period of two weeks. So you can learn this new vocabulary. There is more vocabulary which we covered in the lesson. Shimbun, Ongaku, Shukudai, Kakarimas, Kirimas, Oyogimas. Ohashi, Denva. So, with that, we will end the class today. There is a lot of work for you to perform at home, to do at home. So, do that 
and come prepared for the next class. So, minasan, mata ashita aimashou. Arigatou gozaimasu. Thank you.